The problem I'm having with my SP600 is uh, I dropped it while it was still mounted on my camera. And right now, the problem is if I press the power button, no matter how many times I power, uh, press a button, it does not power on. So I'm going to take this apart. And what you want to do is turn this head, the flash head, to this position. And there are four screws at the bottom for the shoe. Remove those four. And also on top, that's why you have this set at this angle because there are additional screws here. So remove either this side or this side. And same thing on the other, other side. Remove one here or the other side. Uh, the reason is there is a metal bracket behind this so that if you remove both of them that metal bracket is going to fall off so okay start by removing the four screws at the bottom of the shoe after you remove the uh, bottom shoe watch out there is actually a black wire here solder to a uh, copper uh, pad here, so just make sure you don't rip that off. And if you do, no big deal, you can resolder back on after you're done. So, with the flash in this orientation, the screws have been removed, the cover can be lifted off. After you remove the, uh, the front cover, this piece, okay, then you have two plugs here. Remove these two. Once you remove them, then the front cover can come off. Okay. Remove this plug here for the bottom shoe. Okay. And then also you'll notice um, there are these uh, metal brackets where the screws mount for the shoe. Okay. If you look at the side profile, it's, it's angled us a little bit. Oh, you can see that. And the angle side faces this way. Okay, so I'm going to remove those two. Remove this uh, insulator with this copper pad and remove the bottom part. Now the next thing is this top piece. Okay, there is a gray cable here. Right here. Remove that. Okay. After you do that, then this whole piece, you see right here, you need to disconnect the connector right here. And the whole module comes up. Now, I want to point out that over here, this wire here that goes down here, it's a fiber optic cable. So be very careful that you don't kink this or break this. And there may be a little bit of glue stuck between the fiber optic connector and the battery uh, compartment here but once you make sure that it's loosened then remove it by disconnecting okay disconnecting that connector right there and you'll see on here or right here so when you take out uh, the screws on the circuit board. You're, you have uh, eight screws. I took out one of them already. And you have uh, a total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So remove those screws and the circuit board will come out. Once you remove the circuit board from the back enclosure by removing those screws, then you want to do a quick visual on the components the solder joints. Make sure there's no broken solder joints. Don't forget there's also a back side to this. And what I mean by solder joints are the leads where the component is soldered onto the circuit board. And for this flash, and this is a common problem for SB600 that gets dropped, is this component right here. You see that? That joint is broken so I will need to fix that and, and and it's possible there may be other components but this is one common one that that's always um, that always gets damaged so I'm gonna start with fixing that alright guys I'm gonna 
get this part solder back on. Just feeding a little solder, not too much. We'll inspect it, make sure it's good. And then we'll put it back together. Okay, I put everything back together and um, make sure you get the battery cover back on. Uh, it was a little tricky and it's a tight fit, so uh, one thing I noticed is when you put the two uh, sides of the enclosure together, of the battery compartment, you might want to rotate this a little bit for this, for this to close properly and make sure there are no wires right in this area. There are no wires pinched uh, behind here. So I got some new batteries. Let's drop some new batteries in here. And it's working. Yeah. Um, if you encountered this type of problem. So, hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching.